Is Hypixel bad for Minecraft? The server which has a monopoly over Minecraft multiplayer, with none other even coming close to competing with its player numbers. Now wait, before you dislike, report my video, and get rid of my YouTube rank, hear me out. Hypixel isn't a bad server, and if it didn't exist, there would be another massive server right in its place. It is inevitable, due to the way Minecraft multiplayer works behind the scenes. Minecraft multiplayer is unique from most other big games out there. Instead of the game developers running and controlling majority of the servers players play on, in Minecraft it's controlled by the players. And this is good because players have so much freedom in what they can create and do, and also bad, for the exact same reason. Attempts to regulate Minecraft multiplayer by Mojang in the past have largely failed, leading to one of the most toxic, shady, deceptive and rotten multiplayer scenes in any game out there. And the average player won't even know a thing, as it's all hidden behind closed doors. I only discovered most of it after running my own server, og-network.net, for about a year now. Come check us out. Be sure to subscribe and help me get the 350k, by the way. No pressure. Wait, so what am I even talking about here? Well, there's something wrong with Minecraft multiplayer that allowed Hypixel to have a monopoly over it. But first, let's have a look at something here. I want to join a new server. I've played too much Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Build Battle, you know. I want something new and fresh. Why don't we look at a list of top servers by player count? Alright, here we have Hypixel, Minehut, the usual suspects. Oh, and what's this? I haven't heard of this server before. Gamer Mine. Everything is the coolest here. Oh wow, is that so? Are there top cases? Cool donate hacking admin? Of course have! Go no further, you've sold me. Oh wow, over 2,000 players online. But no votes though, very strange. Alright, so this server does have players. There's a couple hundred players in Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Bridges. But that's boring, we are looking for something new. What other game modes do they have? Hmm, there doesn't seem to be many players online the other game modes though. That's pretty sus. I thought there was over 2,000 people online. Alright, let's try another server then. Let's see. Ooh, Desired Craft Network, server number 15. This looks cool. They got so many game modes and 1,500 people online. Wait, what? The IP doesn't work. Huh, strange. Let me go to their website. Guess I have to use a number IP then. At least we are on now though. Hmm, okay, a couple hundred people online. Um, maybe let's go through the portal. This is very unusual. Let me check their website. Rip Desired Craft. Unfortunately, the server died. Wait, what? How is there 1500 players online then? Let's check the forums. Maintains healthy cholesterol levels. Uh, okay, what even is this? Why are there all these weird threads? What's going on? Where are the players? Does this server even work? Oh wait, prison works? This must be where the 1500 players are- Oh. Alright, so clearly we can't find many good servers with new game modes. How about something classic like Minecraft Survival Games? Let me see what servers there are. Okay, basically the first result, MC Central, this looks cool. There's even over 1,000 players online. Wait, there's nobody here. Maybe I'll ask other people to join in the other game modes. Okay, there's some players, but definitely not over 1,000. Where the hell are they all? Is anybody even here at all? Oh, by the way, if you did want to play a unique form of Minecraft Survival Games, join OG-Network.net. We've got unique scenarios here. Alright, alright, alright. That's enough now. I think you get the point. Deception is a massive problem in the Minecraft multiplayer scene. Many top servers bot their player numbers in order to deceive players into thinking they are more active and alive than they actually are. Even servers with a lot of players online still bot their player counts to rank higher on server search lists and more, as you saw from our little experiment there. It's also bad because these large botted servers take the spotlight away from newer and smaller servers with unique or new takes on game modes that are struggling to get their name out there. Smaller servers could do the same right. Well sure, but then you have a server like Desiredcraft where players will join and immediately notice the players are fake and leave. You need at least some players to be properly deceptive with bots. But you may be thinking, if their game modes are so good, then these smaller servers should be popular, right? Makes sense, players will generally flock to the server which has the best content. Okay then, let's do another experiment and say you're going to make a new Skyblock server. This is a fresh take on Skyblock, you've paid thousands of dollars and spent dozens of hours creating an elaborate and detailed MMORPG style Skyblock, similar enough to high pixels to break into their market, but also unique and different enough to stand out. You've got an awesome plot, story, builds, and so much more. Now mind you, all that alone is an extreme time and money investment, but let's say you've already done it anyways and you now need to promote your server. So how would you go about doing that? Well, you could get your server onto voting websites, but that's unlikely to happen until you already have a massive player base. Alright, option 2 then. You could pay some YouTubers to play on and promote your server. Just make sure to avoid those dead factions YouTubers who only upload server trailers at all costs. 
Cool, now you've got some YouTubers who said yes because they're interested in your server and think it might be the next big thing. Still, the majority have said no, but hey, at least we've got some players now. However, after about a week of almost 24-7 bug fixing and ensuring the server doesn't crash, you start to realize that player numbers are dwindling. Without a consistent stream of content coming in, they're beginning to drop off real fast. You try to ask more YouTubers, but most refuse, realizing that doing more videos on your server isn't going to help their channel grow, and your server probably isn't the second coming of Mineplex. Player numbers are nosediving now. You've only just begun working on a new update, and players are already beginning to call the server dead or dying. Players are voting, but you aren't even managing to break into the top 200 on most websites, who seemingly have servers with an endless flow of votes. You're running out of money, you don't really have the motivation to continue working on the server anymore, and you're all out of options. You either try one last effort to bring players back, buckle down and do another update, or you let the server fizzle out when donations aren't cutting it anymore. It's over, server's done, and thousands are down the drain. Now, you might be thinking my entire hypothetical scenario is a bit unrealistic, but here's the thing. This basically already happened. Remember Bajan Canadian? Well, he went MIA on YouTube for a while, unlisting almost all of his videos and leaving a single community post mentioning he was working on a big server and it cost the most money, time and energy he's ever invested into a project. About a year later in September of 2021, his server Skyblock Isles would release, a unique MMORPG style Skyblock. Bajan, along with his team, created a massive world map in custom terrain, a variety of unique custom coded skills, some really weird looking auto mining, custom farming, foods, unique crafting recipes, fishing, grills, custom items, custom mobs, alchemy, spells, towns and cities with unique mobs and NPCs, and a whole lot more, including a proper story. You get the point, this was no shitty pay to win faction server, this was a highly detailed, well thought out and unique take on Skyblock that would have cost thousands, if not tens of thousands to create. I mean, did I even mention the insane custom resource pack? And it started out quite successful. Bajan went the YouTube route to promote his server, uploading his own videos, paying others to upload videos, and just in general, getting lots of content made about the server because players thought it was the next big thing. I monitored the server's player numbers for a while due to general curiosity and saw it go from 1 to 200 players online up to over 1,000 in only a month. I thought this was finally going to be a proper competitor for Hypixel Skyblock. However, as the months continued, the YouTube content slowed down. Players began dropping off. And in February of this year, after only about 5 months, the server was barely managing to get 20 players online. Bajin would make a post to his official Discord server with over 5,000 members, stating that he reached out to many creators to gauge their interest in partnering with Isles for a promotion. And while most of them thought the game mode was awesome, many declined out of concern it would disrupt their channel growth. Many such creators are now dedicated to a single server, have quit YouTube, or moved on to other content. He mentioned the Minecraft multiplayer landscape had changed a lot since he begun this project. And only a week ago now, the server has been shut down permanently. And this is the main issue with Minecraft multiplayer as a whole. Bajan Canadian of all people, with years of Minecraft and server experience, invested potentially tens of thousands into an incredibly unique take on Skyblock and still couldn't make it work. So how the hell is any normal person without such resources even meant to attempt such a feat? Furthermore, even if they do get some players, how the hell do they compete with massive already established servers who have infinitely more resources than them? It's just not fair. I mentioned voting websites earlier, which as I'm sure you all know, allow players to vote for a server to give it more publicity, you could say, and rank higher overall on certain websites. Well, guess what? It's all unfair there as well. Most of the popular voting websites like MinecraftServers.org list their sponsored servers at the top. These are basically a handful of places servers must bid for to be at. Currently the top server is Golden Leaf, which paid 1,751 US dollars to have their server at the top for just two weeks. I've seen servers pay upwards of three to 4,000 by the way. And guess what? How many players are they receiving from such an investment? A whopping 10. But that's fine, you all might be thinking. These websites have to make money somehow. How about the actual server list? Those should be sorted by most votes, right? And if a server has a lot of votes, it must mean players like it and is doing something right. Wrong. Every server offers some sort of reward for voting. Nobody would go out of their way to vote otherwise. It's more so like a daily task they have to complete to get money. But hey, not like that even matters anyway, because guess what? Every top server here buys votes. You think captures work? Nope, the servers are buying botted votes for hundreds of dollars a month. And of course, the more you spend, the more you get, and the higher you rank. 
none of this here is really legitimate rankings, and these voting websites simply don't care because they are raking in cash from sponsored spots and ads. It's designed to cater to those with money. So, what's the whole point of everything I've just told you, and how does it relate to Hypixel? If I've learned anything from running my own server, it's that the Minecraft multiplayer industry is very tough to crack. Think of it like this, the Minecraft server industry is an industry where those with the money and resources reign supreme. They have the ability to buy votes, ads, pay for game modes, sponsorships, videos and more. They don't have to be unique or really different at all, they just need the same already popular game modes or minigames with maybe slight modifications if they are feeling adventurous and once they are up there and gain all those resources, it gets harder and harder for others to get up there as well. What this means for Minecraft multiplayer overall is that there is a considerable lack of innovation. Like I mentioned, if you look at majority of the top networks today, they all either have your garbage run of the mill game modes like Factions, Prison, Skyblock and Survival, or they have minigames like Bed Wars, Sky Wars and more. And it's very hard to innovate because as I mentioned, not only is it exceedingly difficult and resource intensive to get something unique out there, but because why are people even going to bother playing your new server when they can just play Hypixel? Why bother playing any other Bed Wars server when Hypixel exists? Why invest time into a Skyblock server that may be dead in a few weeks when you could just play Hypixels? When one server has so much of the market, every single new competitor is immediately disadvantaged because people aren't going to choose it over Hypixel majority of the time. But is that Hypixel's fault? No, it's not. Hypixel is a product of what the Minecraft multiplayer landscape has become. When money and resources are the single driving factor behind who can and can't get their server out there, eventually one will reign supreme. Before Hypixel, it was Mineplex, but even that era is over. Back in 2014 and earlier, Minecraft networks had far simpler game modes. We never would have imagined anything like Windcraft or Hypixel Skyblock would have existed. The entry bar into Minecraft multiplayer was just simply lower because game modes weren't nearly as advanced. But that entry bar has only steadily increased since then. And where you could once just run a simple faction server, now you need a network of factions, prisons, Skyblock, and you have to purchase a dozen or two plugins to make it all work. The future of Minecraft multiplayer worries me, because many top servers aren't like Hypixel, where they care somewhat about their players, they simply care about money and have begun introducing far more predatory methods of monetizing the game, from simple ranks to now expensive slot machines and gambling. With these mechanics, they will continue to rake in more and more money and will therefore remain popular, overshadowing smaller servers which will never even get to see the light of day. This could lead to stagnation and ultimately a lack of innovation in the Minecraft multiplayer scene. Besides Hypixel, most of the top servers don't really offer anything unique. They're basically just a copy and paste of one another. They're not going to spend their time and effort to innovate with new game modes because for them, that's not the best way to get players. Now that's not to say there isn't unique servers that have somewhat of a player base. Mine Club is one such server with a completely unique lobby system and a variety of unique game modes. But there are very few out there, less and less as the play counts get higher and higher. So how could this be fixed? Well, honestly, I don't really know. Unless there is some form of regulation, which we all know how that went, nothing's likely to change. These big servers will keep hogging the spotlight, and it's only going to continue to get harder for smaller and more innovative servers to grow. But you as a player can help. Try playing some smaller servers every so often, and try not to monetarily support the big pay to win ones. At the end of the day, that's all you can really do. I'll continue to run my server, og-network.net as well, with a proper SMP and unique take on survival games, so maybe check us out. I hope you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe, thank you all so much for watching!